10 million Americans are faced with foreclosure on their homes. What the fuck? And we're spending all this money on a hundred members of Al Qaeda in Afghanistan or Pakistan. A hundred people in Al Qaeda is what we're looking for. A hundred folks. And we can't find them. So we're going to spend a billion dollars. There's a million dollars per troop. And we got plenty of money for war, but we have no money for health care, food, housing. What about bridges or roads or hospitals? What about connecting everybody up to the internet? I, you know what I like on my, t you know what I like on my taters? I like to put my maters. I like to put my maters on my taters. I do. Robert R. Taylor was arrested uh, on more charges when he went to the jail uh, after Chris Reese and Matt Lowe. And if Chris Reese or Matt Lowe is one that wears a Bulldogs hat, an Ohio Bulldogs black baseball hat, that was the same person that tried to pick a fight with me. But I eventually sucked in my pride and ego and let them talk all the crap and push me around as much as they wanted to without reacting uh, whatsoever. Which is pretty pretty hard to do to, you know, basically it's like I swallow my spirit and my pride and I keep it um, just lodged away and thinking that when I get out, I'll be able to do something about it. So, I, I want to see that videotape. They want to say that Carroll County Jail wants to put more charges on Robert Taylor when they don't even know. Uh, I want to see that tape. I want to see if the jail, if there's uh, the, uh, I want to see if the jail guards, uh, if they were actually ones provoking it, if they had anything to do with the violent outburst, or if this guy is just crazy violent all the time. I'm willing to bet they had something to do with it too. I'm pretty excited about Gallatin County. There's a ton of people coming out of the woodwork to challenge a local establishment, and um, it's good for democracy. It's good for dialogue. You get, you get all these different ideas, and you have a, a healthy exchange of ideas, and then the people go out and vote, and then the people decide what it is that they wanted. Do they want the old establishment, or do they want the uh, the new, the incoming challengers? So I think it's going to be an exciting year, 2010. We're going to win in 2010. And since we have so many folks coming out of the woodwork, well, what we need is we need a forum to where all of the, uh, all, they can debate each other. So that way we can see all the different ideas and we can see our candidates side by side and we can actually determine for ourselves which one we actually want. Um, I think it would be a good idea. And the only two places I can think of for a place a free place to be able to host a debate is either at the city hall, which I, I'm not sure if they allow it, they should, um, and uh, the high school, the theater at the high school. I think that'd be perfect. All you need is two podiums and a moderator. Just have a moderator, have a list of questions, get two podiums, get the two candidates uh, for whatever positions uh, are, are going on, get them up there, ask them the questions, and after an hour, you know, that's it. That's it. And I think a challenger would want to, to debate an incumbent, and any honest or good person would want to show everybody, the public, their ideas and their platforms and what they would like to have, their vision for their, their, uh, their county or their city or, or their community's future. So the social studies department and the high school, get some debates there. Not only would it be entertaining, uh, it's more entertaining dialogue uh, for your class, for, you know, children who have low attention spans, but it'd also be uh, useful, it'd be informative, it'd be informative and useful, which are good things anyways, but uh, being that it's local politics, I don't think anybody's ever seen anything like this, I think that would be exciting, you'd be treading new ground. It is weird how secret the government is, uh, both the county uh, council and the city council, they go in these closed sessions, it's like a secret government, they go in these closed sessions and they get it. Who knows what they talk about? I mean, basically, it just feels like they're plotting or they're trying to conceal some information or they're trying to figure out something. Uh, you know, since it's not in the public eye, I can't assume that it's to my benefit. I have to assume to, you know, it's to my detriment. In response to the, the Patriot Act, uh, the way the government wants to get into the citizens' lives, I propose doing the exact opposite. 
Uh, I want the citizens to get into the government's lives, and I don't think the government should have any secrets. Uh, the government should be completely transparent. Um, sorry that uh, my karma ran over your dogma. It's my bad. I, I just don't think your dogma was looking where it was going. I was paying attention, but it darted out right in front of me, and I pushed the brake, and before it was over, my karma just plowed over your dogma. Eesh. Sorry about that. There's three Gallatin counties in the United States. There's Gallatin County, Kentucky, Gallatin County, Illinois, and Gallatin County, Montana. Uh, Gallatin County, Kentucky is 8,000, and the Gallatin County, Illinois is 65,000 population. Uh, so there is a county out there that's actually smaller than us. So there's another Gallatin County in the United States that's smaller than this one. We're the smallest county in Kentucky, uh, but there's actually one that's smaller than us in Illinois. So it so for all you Gallatin Countyans that had an inferiority complex about that, uh, now you, you don't have to. There's actually someone that's actually smaller than us. So, And uh, Gallatin County in Montana, uh, their population is 68,000. So, yeah, they're, they're way bigger than us. 68,000, we got 8,000, so they're nine, eight or nine times more than us bigger than us so you put eight or nine Gallatin County Kentuckys together you would get one Gallatin County Montana on the, the Gallatin County of Illinois it's only a four hour drive so I think it should be our sister city and I think we should actually look at a lot of the local governments around us uh, to compare and contrast so we can get the best idea I feel like in the, the great pool of ideas the best ideas uh, should should prevail so if we compare all the local governments see how they've been operating what works what doesn't work and just take the best ideas from all of them and combine them all together I think that'd be the the best recipe for uh, a successful government hi I'm Johnny Masters and I don't approve this message all oh. Gallatin County was named after the historically irrelevant cracker Albert Gallatin uh, who died 160 years ago. 97% of Gallatin Countyans are white and 97% of Owen County residents are white. And 98% of Grant County residents are white. 1.6% uh, in Gallatin County are black so that comes out to 127 or 126 black people to 7,760 white people. That's a 66 to 1 ratio. There's 66 white people to every single black person in Gallatin County. We got 0.2% Native Americans, 0.2% uh, Asian Americans, and 1% Hispanic. And since there are so few, few people of color in Gallatin County, uh, I've, I've told people that Gallatin County's got 97%, uh, 97 of them is white, and then people say, oh, I don't believe that, I don't believe that. Well, you're only telling on yourself. If you don't believe it, it's because you're racist, and to you, you do see them all over the place. But when you look around, and by, just by the numbers and the statistics, when you look around, it's not black people that you see all over the place, it's white people. Everywhere you go, go down to the grocery store, go to the church, go to the library, go to the post office, go to the store. It doesn't matter. White people are everywhere. I mean, how are people going to blame all the problems on 126 people in this county? 126 compared to 7,000. It's not the black people's fault. White people. White people are to blame. Not all white people. Specific white people. But I, think you, but I think you get my point. The original Gallatin Countyans uh, used to have brown skin, Native Americans. Now, there's 14 Native Americans in Gallatin County. 14. Not 14%, uh, not but 14 individuals. Gallatin County has been completely consumed with white people. 